Today we're gonna paint finger paint landscapes with our fingers. For this project, you're going to want 11 by 14 inch multimedia paper that's at least the thickness of index paper. A variety of acrylic paint colors, a surface to pour your paint on, your fingers to paint with, a pencil and an eraser, newspaper to cover your work surface area, paper towels and a bowl of water to clean your fingers. You might want to have an image of the landscape that you'd like to base your picture on, on hand to look at while you're creating your work. You may also want to have a paint shirt or apron. Start by taking your pencil and doing a basic sketch of the lines you see in the portrait that you are copying. Now, as you look at the picture that you're going to be copying, start selecting colors that match. And if you don't have the colors that match the image, see if you can mix colors that are similar. Now, another thing you can do with this type of painting that's fun is you can mix colors directly on your paper. Notice that I have mixed a dark gray with blue. I've also done a dark gray with green. I'm going to use that for some of my mountains. Another thing to keep in mind is that the closer the mountains are, the darker they are, and as they move backwards, they get lighter. I'm going to start with the sunset, and I'm just going to take one finger, maybe two fingers, and dip it in the paint, and then I'm going to go tap, 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 Notice I'm not smearing the paint. I'm, I'm just doing this tapping motion. This creates a certain texture that looks really cool. So I really wanna encourage you to try this. Oh, whoops, I forgot to put newspaper under my work. There we go. Continue adding the paint, spreading it evenly across the paper. Remember, just keep doing that tap, 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 tap motion. Uh, don't smear it. Just that even tapping. And then uh, you can take another color, I'm, I'm doing orange, and I'm gonna really uh, gently blend these two colors together. I'll go back and blend them together. If I need to add more pink, I can. You don't really need to wash your fingers every time you switch colors, but you do need to wipe them off and get them dry with a paper towel. Once your fingers are dry, then you can go back and get more paint. I notice across the top, I'm adding some white paint and just evenly applying it and then going back and blending it with that tapping motion. Adding some yellow for the sun and then we can go back and add some white on top of it. I'm gonna take a little bit of light blue paint and a little bit of dark blue paint on each finger and spread it very evenly across the bottom of my skyline. It's just a tiny bit of paint on each part. And then I'm gonna go back and tap, 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 blend it in. Always give your fingers a good wipe with paper towels before you switch colors. I want to soften the edge between the purple and the pink colors, so I'm going back with a little bit of white and a little bit of pink on my fingertips and I'm spreading it evenly across the paper. And I'm going back and I'm blending right between the purple and the pink to soften that edge. Thing that's so cool about finger painting is you really get a feel for how the paint works. So when it's dry versus when it's wet and different effects that you can create, it's so different when you're using your fingers. Um, notice here I'm wiping away some of the paint so to make a sharper edge so it'll be easier to paint over that. Now if you're trying to get a really sharp edge, you can use the side of your finger. That helps a lot. I'm going to start filling in my mountains with a dark greenish bluish color. Just getting that paint very evenly applied with my fingers, again using that tap tap motion. 
I got that a little darker than I wanted it. So I'm going back over it with a little bit of white and a little bit of blue. And you can keep playing around with the color until you get a color that works for you. It's a very forgiving process. So I'm trying to take into account atmospheric perspective, which uh, indicates that the mountains get darker as they get closer. So you see I'm using a darker color in this layer and I want it to fade a little bit. There's kind of a sense of foggy softness if you look at the picture. So I'm adding some white and I'm blending it in and I'm adding a darker mountain in front of it, going back and touching things up a little bit to get them just how I like them. I'm going to start adding some light green in this and a little bit of the darker green, just little bits of it. Let's see how I got the little tiny dots and then I go back and blend them in with that tapping motion. And I, I want to pull that dark edge out a little bit so I'm very carefully with just the edge of my finger I'm bringing that dark color out along the edge of that hill. Here I'm adding just a hint of blue flowers. Now I'm going to fill in the foreground with that beautiful bright green color. Get it all filled in, cover up all the little white spots. I'm going along the edge with some yellow. Looks like sunlight hitting the grass. It's really pretty, so I'm going to blend some more in there, little specks of it, along with tiny little bits of white paint. And to create some extra depth, I'm going to just a hint of the darker green. So just kind of tiny little bits of it spread out. Going back, messing with my blue flowers, <laughs> creating a darker edge, fixing a mistake. <laughs> and now I'm going to add some flowers. Yay for flowers. <laughs> so I find this actually works better when the green colors dry because then the bold bright pink and white color will stick out more. Now I'd like to add a hint of purple clouds to my sunset. So I'm going to take just a tiny tiny hint of purple paint. I'm going to use the edge of my finger and I'm just going to put the tiniest little bit of paint, a line of it like that. Now the paint I'm painting on is dry so it's, it's going to blend a little differently. Once I have it spread out like that, I'm going to dry my fingers. I'm going to go back and smudge that purple paint. Create the effect of a puffy purple sunset cloud. go that was super fun when you're ready to clean your fingers just dip your fingers in water and then try to wipe most of the paint off onto a paper towel and when you do this you prevent all of that paint from getting washed down the sink so when paint goes down the sink it just ends up in our water table and our oceans and it's not good for sea life so do your part too help protect our oceans.